The holidays are when everyone polishes up the silver and china, sets a beautiful table, and dusts off their best recipes. My go-to is my brown sugar short ribs. A little untraditional, but just wait until you taste them. I love food and I love to cook. The best stories are shared in the kitchen and at the dinner table. I'm Andrea and these are my cook tales. The holidays are a time to mingle with friends and family and most importantly, eat great food. I usually like to mix my menu up every year for Christmas, but I often come back to my brown sugar short rib recipe. I've always thought of it as my best dish and it must not be too shabby because it got me into the top 100 when auditioning for MasterChef season six. I am extra proud of this dish and it's just hearty and decadent enough for the holidays. Start by heating two tablespoons of olive oil in a Dutch oven or cast iron pot over medium high heat. Sprinkle the short ribs liberally with kosher salt and pepper. Sear all sides of the short ribs until brown. You'll want to sear the short ribs in batches so you don't overcrowd the pan. When a nice crust is formed, then set the ribs aside. Reduce the heat to medium and add one large onion chopped and a dash of salt and pepper. When the onion starts to brown, add four cloves of minced garlic and cook for one minute or until fragrant, being careful not to burn the garlic. Deglaze the pan with one and a half cups of your favorite red wine and scrape up all the brown bits from the bottom. Let the wine reduce by half, then add two cups of beef stock, two tablespoons of tomato paste, and two bay leaves, stirring together well. Now add the ribs back in along with any juice. They should be almost covered in the liquid, but you'll still wanna see the tops of the ribs. Sprinkle over two teaspoons of rosemary, two teaspoons of thyme, and a fourth cup of brown sugar. Roast in a 350 degree oven for two and a half to three hours or until tender and almost falling off the bone. Remove the ribs and plate. Then skim the fat off and remove the bay leaves. Blend the leftover liquid with a handheld blender for a gravy you can serve over the tops of the ribs or on the side. Wow, this is melt in your mouth goodness. It's so meaty, but at the same time, the sweetness comes through from the brown sugar, and then you've got the pininess from the rosemary, and it makes it taste like a Christmas tree. I like to serve this dish over my mascarpone grits. You have got to put this on your Christmas list. For details and for more stories and recipes, visit andreascooktails.com. For more videos, hit subscribe, and for my mascarpone grits recipe and more holiday favorites, go to my blog, andreascooktails.com. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs>